the world is a book, and those who do not travel read only one page. My life began with exposure to a variety of experiences. After finishing third grade, I was presented with the precious opportunity to study in U.S. at Argonne Elementary School in San Francisco. I overcome difficulties such as language barriers and cultural differences. My teachers and friends were surprised of my improvements, and I started to slowly but surely adjust to the new lifestyle. America brought me happy memories and plenty of sunshine. However, just as I fell in love with this nation, filled with freedom and love, my father was appointed to a new role in Britain. Thus, my childhood adventure continued to the empire on which the sun never sets. In Taizhang Primary School and Elchukang Grammar School for Boys, I proceeded with my primary and secondary education. Even though the two countries, U.S. and U.K., have many things in common. The British ways of living and learning are not quite the same as those in America. Once again, I adjusted swiftly to cultural clashes and excelled at adjusting to the new environment. After three years of overseas study, I came back to Beijing with a good command of English language and knowledge gained from being abroad. More importantly. My scope of the world was no longer restricted to my hometown Wuhan, next to the Yangtze River, but something much more deep and pronounced. I learned to appreciate different opinions and cultures with respect and understanding. In the following years, I devoted myself to schoolwork and various contests, which I won prizes. I volunteered for community service programs and even for the Beijing Olympics game. I felt that I was competent, but deep in my heart, I had been longing again for a new role to take on. With my high school years drawing to a close and ruminating on my future, it occurred to me that I still had dreams unachieved in the U.S., and I decided I needed to further my education there. In my undergraduate years at Duke University. I embraced the American culture further by actively participating in clubs and extracurricular activities. I met abundant, smart, and bright minds who shared with me interesting ideas about school and life. I became even more open-minded and curious. Through various leadership roles, I gradually developed my skill set to make important decisions and expand influence. I enjoyed working with people from different backgrounds and perspectives. At Duke, I discovered my passion for finance and fulfilled them by working in Beijing, Hong Kong, and New York. Once again, I enjoyed the excitement of exploring different markets and learning from the experts about how finance is performed. I opened myself to various roles in multiple banks, from sales and trading to research to wealth management and then to capital market. In each position. I strove to consistently challenge myself and learn as much knowledge and skills as possible through persistent hard work and thorough preparation. Eventually, I learned to develop my values based on all these experiences. Mon Fuchs once said, "A journey of thousands of miles may not be achieved without the accumulation of each single step." Just as the enormous ocean may not be formed without gathering every brook or stream, I am a firm believer of persistence and hard work. The world is so big, and I would like to explore every piece of it. Each person or country is a new book to me. I would like to read and enjoy word to word, and embrace differences. To me, this is the most effective way to learn and grow. While bearing in mind my principles, foundations, and beliefs. I shall march forward, one step at a time, to my dream destination. Next up, MIT Sloan Business School.